Uh, Senator Jerry Moran joins us now, the Kansas Republican, sits on the Senate Appropriations Committee. Senator, um, the way this is going, I'm wondering if this has, that is the infrastructure only plan that, that you were supporting, or at least the, the broad you know, aspects of it, whether even that is doable now. What do you think? Well, Neil, it remains to be seen. Here's another week, uh, you and I visiting, and it's one more what might happen. Uh, as compared to what has happened. And I don't know that we're, we're, we're certainly, I think a deal is doable, but I don't know what motivates Chuck Schumer uh, to set this arbitrary deadline of tomorrow uh, for us to have a vote on a motion to proceed. Uh, we are close to a, a deal, but how it's paid for is hugely important. That's always the difficulty in getting support for infrastructure. That's a difficult question to answer. Um, we were successful, I, we, we, we led an effort to get the uh, tax collections, the additional IRS agents out of this bill. And last weekend, we were able to announce that was a, uh, accomplished. That's a good thing that will perhaps bring more Republicans to the table, something that I wanted to see happen for, for me to continue to be supportive of this plan. Uh, I guess the reality is there's not quite a plan yet for how it's going to be paid for. And that's the debate that's going on now. But Schumer, um, the majority leader, has indicated uh, tomorrow's the day. I would predict, and certainly me, I'm not going to vote to proceed onto a bill that we don't have legislative text for. Until we have legislative text, there can't be a, a CVO score. And uh, right. we need to see words on paper. And we need an agreement. We're, we're, not, we're not there yet. And I would guess that the, the group of uh, 11 Republicans, 11 Democrats, will continue to negotiate even after tomorrow. But I don't know what Chuck Schumer's response to that's going to be. He may say, well, you had your chance and it didn't happen. I'd predict tomorrow that uh, 50 Republicans vote no on a motion to proceed, not because we're uninterested in an infrastructure plan, but it's not being done the way it needs to be done. No certainty. Got it. And I'm glad you clarified it, Senator. Uh, this isn't a yay or nay vote on the measure itself, but just to proceed with the debate. And, and that's where, 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 there lies the rub. Another uh, wrinkle that came up is the role Nancy Pelosi might play in this House. Uh, she is consistently said, you know, the Senate can propose, uh, but whatever uh, is being debated should be in conjunction with this three and a half trillion dollar spending measure. And, and that seems like, I would assume, a non-starter. Um, so are both then non-starters. You know, uh, President Biden received a lot of pushback, particularly from Republicans who negotiated, they thought, a deal with the White House on this issue when he said they're going to be tied together. And uh, while that is certainly a problem and the president tried to walk that back long before that, or at least weeks before that, Speaker Pelosi said something very similar. She's not going to allow the bipartisan bill to pass the House uh, unless the Senate passes the, the tax and spend bill. And uh, that has me, had me trouble from the beginning because one of the reasons I'm involved in this effort is to reduce the likelihood that we spend all that money in that second bill, that tax and spend Democrat bill, by getting this done. Maybe it relieves some of the pressure on Manchin, Cinema, and other senators, other Democrat senators, to vote for something that only requires 51 votes and spends trillions of dollars. And uh, so the fact that they tie them together is also very problematic to a senator, a conservative senator like me. I also think that CBO score, I'd highlight this, that CBO score is important. I want to make sure that it's actually paid for. It's not uh, just a gimmick because in today's inflationary, uh, federal spending is you know, skyrocketing. In today's spending, uh, an inflation world, uh, we do not need to be priming the economy with an infrastructure bill. We need infrastructure, but it's not about stimulating the economy. Uh, the demand is there and the prices are going up. I'd say that to, while there's a couple of proposals for, the, for a, a pay for, one of the things that we shouldn't take off the table is this bill doesn't, well, we, you talked about it in your intro, this bill is paid for in part by uh, utilizing money unspent in COVID relief right. previous packages. What it doesn't include is the American Recovery Act that was passed in January, the large $1.9 trillion. The unspent money in that bill has been off limits to, to this point. And if we're looking for a pay for, I can't think of a better one. Yeah, and about a third of that though is yet to be spent. Um, Wild, Senator, thank you for updating us. Please continue doing so, sir. Senator uh, Jerry Moran of, of Kansas. Uh